All right, so we are back, and I want to give a quick little channel update, especially for uh, everyone who tunes in for Monster Super League. Uh, do not worry, Monster Super League isn't going anywhere. Uh, I've just been taking a break from the game. As you guys could sus suspect, you know, even though I only recorded last year for it, uh, playing then doing the dailies for the past five years, it has been very exhausting, and not much has changed with the game uh, that has caught my interest and again i'm taking a little bit of a break for it uh, as you see though i have posted a, a couple things on the on the channel uh anno 1800 will continue i really like that game and again my, my channel is a gaming channel so i do want to be posting very a variety of content uh even though i know uh the most of you have been, are here for the monster super league Again, don't worry. When there's something new and uh, that I care about, like what we're going to do today um, for Monster Super League, trust me, you guys will get videos on that, and uh, I will I will be doing that. But hopefully, uh, your Galinda uh, summons went well, and uh, we will be moving on now into the month of March. And with that said, the month of March was kicked off with another Q and A session. Woo! Ooh, these are garbage and no one asks half the questions that are on here but you know yay <laughs> so i'm sorry i am going to go through here and i'm going to poke this i'm going to poke fun at this and i'm also going to burn this this is some of these questions are valid this time around but most of the q a sessions are questions nobody actually asked and it is kind of garbage in my opinion that we even get this now i like the developer we already get the developer talking to us once a month anyway these q and a sessions uh just to give you an idea it's like imagine you were you're, you're back in college and you're going to you're doing your your paper for your english class or hell yeah maybe it's your phd i don't care it, it's like you put 75 percent of work into the paper but you now got to write the last 25 percent and you just you're, you're kind of done you're out of ideas you're like i already said what i needed to say but they want me to write x amount of paper that's how i feel this is they did 75% of the work, and then the last 25% is just them copying and pasting. And you'll see what I mean here in a, in a, in a little bit. But um, needless to say, these questions are not asked by anybody. Some of them on here, again, are valid, but we've been asking these questions for a long time. So I don't know why they just suddenly decide, oh, we'll answer it this time. So... Without further ado, um, if you're doing this with me, I highly suggest you grab a drink because we're going to need it to get through some of this, uh, some of these on here. So with that said, I'm going to take a quick sip. Uh, and let's get through this. All right. Starting with the first question. After winning Apex Battles, SP decrease made the progress rather inconvenient. Ah, well, before I read their answer, let me just say this. It's not that it made it inconvenient. It just made it downright not fun, and I turned it... I did the switch for Apex Battles, and my brain just immediately went back to the off position. Apex Battles, since the beginning, have not been fun. Uh, they have not been entertaining. They The rewards have been garbage, and that is across the board. The only time I have suggested to anybody to play Apex Battles is if you are a new player for Monster Super League. If you are a new player and you are sitting here watching my video even right now, yes, you need to do Apex Battles for one reason and one reason only, the gold. Early on, you don't have enough gold to do a lot of things in the game, so you need to find some way to get your gold economy going, right? I'm an older player. I have so much gold, I don't know what to do with it. I don't need the gold anymore. And like I said, the rewards, again, a newer player, sure, the rewards, maybe the egg, the heroic egg even, it, you could argue with me for, but this system has been garbage since the day it came out, right? I have had some fun times when, yes, I was fighting people who were my level and getting unique different teams, and these teams weren't just the meta you know, the meta defense teams that you see in PvP. Yes, that was a breath of fresh air. But you then came in and you nerfed the SP. You then came in, uh, now, what is this, couple months now? 
that we've had the SP decrease on here. And yes, it yeah, of course it's inconvenient. No, it's just a stupid, a dumb thing that was added. And their answer to this is even dumber because again, they should be listening to us, the players, and not the statistics that their game is. Because I'm pretty sure their statistics says nobody does Apex battles. Let me be very real with you. Uh, this doesn't reward us. And even if you are, uh, like, let's say Monster Super League is the only game you play. Like, this is the game for me. Whatever. There are people out there like that. If that is who you are and you do the Apex Battles, good for you. But I can tell you a majority of the people out there don't enjoy Apex Battles because you literally have forced us to actually play the game, which is counterintuitive to the rest of the damn game. Why do we have an auto battle? Why do we now have an auto capture? And why is now uh, your your apex battles literally the complete opposite where you're like, well, they're just auto battling this. We want them to actually try. Then why the fuck is there an auto battle feature on the apex battles? Okay, that's what I'm getting at here is the stupidity of this system. Apex battles could be fun. They could be intriguing but they need to be taken back to the drawing board instead of just dropping it on us and expecting us, oh, they'll like it. Like, I can't imagine what developers like, high five, man, that was really good, right? It's Apex Battles, they're gonna like it. Yeah, it, they're shit. And they're shit for older players too because their stuff, the, the rewards are garbage. But I digress. Let me get off my rant and read you their response. In the past, Apex Battles were performed in a one-size-fits-all manner. Not not in the past. No, they really weren't. It was just, it was something you mindlessly did and moved on with your day. In which only active skills were activated here and there during auto battles. Uh, again, no, you brought literally my Persephone in there with, before Ultimate Evolution with SP Siphon Gems and you watched her destroy team after team after team after team because there's an auto battle feature and that's what it does. Rather than taking into account the combination of Astromons tailored to the contents. Yeah, well, we still don't know where you pulled the Astromon for, for the defense teams. And even if these are real people they're pulling them from. So there's that. We still don't have that information. To improve this, we have changed the SP to decrease by a certain amount at the end of the battle. I don't know why you're telling us that. We fucking know that. <laughs> we play the game. In addition, considering the increased difficulty level due to SP decrease, Golden Apex Battle rewards were increased, and Mystic Powder, Powder was also added. Oh yeah, the difficulty of wasting my time. You know what the increased, di increased difficulty was? Spoiler alert. I tell my Fire Drakkar to attack. My, my Dark Persephone got her SP up back. Cool, she does her ultimate. She gets all her SP back. We go into the next battle. She loses 15% or she she loses 15 or 20, no, 25 out of 100, whatever it is, right? She loses, she loses, goes down to 75% to, to of SP. I attack with Fire Drakkar. She gets her SP back. I do the same thing over. Do you get my point? You didn't. There's no increased difficulty here. You just annoyed me by having to actually tell the game to do something, which is once again counterintuitive to what you've already put in, put in the game. And before I get the comment of, oh, poor Leon has to play the game. Yeah, I know. It's tough times. But once again, that's my point. This is not any harder. They didn't make it any harder for me. They're just wasting my time at that point. Okay. We are continuously monitoring the progress of the masters participating in Apex battles, and we will review the direction for further improvement based on internal statistics. Once again, the internal statistics don't tell you how I just told you how boring and unintuitive your Apex battles are. I don't do them, and I highly doubt, again, most endgame players do them either, because none of us care about the rewards, and it's only the guy, the diehards who are like, I'm going to do everything in this game every single day because that's what I'm going to do, and good for you, dude. Have fun. I'm not. And again, I can tell you the majority of us who value our time don't do it either because we don't get anything out of it. I'd rather go farm super evolution materials than do an apex battle. Because the other problem with the system is I keep fighting people who are level 30. That's not fun to me. 
Can I at least fight people who are my level? How about you change that system first before you start screwing with the SP, which is built into the game? We already This is the second time you've now messed with the SP that is in these Apex battles. So, in my opinion, please remove head from ass. That's, that's how I see that one. But anyway, I digress. Let's move on to the next one. This one's an actual, a good one. And uh, I have I have, bu I have a beef to pick with this one too. Or excuse me, I have a bone to pick. Let's actually use the terminology, but I'll take another, another drink out for that one. Please add filters to, to Astro Guide, monsters, gems, etc. Spoiler alert, we already have filters on our, on our storage and gems. So the last two on that question, I want to know where they pulled that one from because we already have that. If you guys go onto your ship right now, you have uh, the element, whether it's a variant or a normal, and what, uh, what star, what grade it is. So you, you already have a filter to let you filter that stuff out. Your, your gems are the same damn way. You can literally look up whether you have attack crit whatever so that's already there the only thing i'm going to argue here is the astro guide but let me read, read you their answer as one of the improvements for masters to enjoy the game more conveniently we are planning to on performing a continuous ui ui slash ux reorganization we all will also review filter function for astro guide and each inventory once again we already have the filters for the for the other stuff and those work i like them great thanks the astro guide is a pain in the ass to navigate and this is something we've wanted for four plus years now Do you, like right now I, I if you are listening to my ramble here I, I and you have the game up go into your astro guide and look for water mona just literally go into your astro guide tab over to the astro guide go over hit water and scroll until you find water mona you'll see my point immediately or god forbid try and look for a two star astromon it takes you so long to find the thing that you are looking for it's it's un unbelievable and again i know this is an unpopular opinion because i've had comments about it in the past but the filter as simple as it is it, for the astro guide should have been there before we had the arena replay system put in because man it's so cool to be able to watch something that literally says this may not be how the actual fight went down which is even better and i always laugh about that we should have had the filter for the Astro Guide before that bullshit. And I have a better idea for you. How about you remove the stupid arena replay thing and just add the filter to the Astro Guide? I'll save you a bunch of space on your game at, right at that point, huh? Man, it's like, it's like if you actually listen to your community, you might have better features in a game where people, you know... People wouldn't be making, like, I wouldn't be making this video and, and, and complaining about certain things that should, should have been in the game to begin with, man. Ugh. All right, let's go to the next one, though. It would be nice to have a feature that will make it possible to distinguish same type of astromons from each other when having two or more of the same astromons. Their answer, we agree that same astromons can be built and used in different ways depending on the purpose. Therefore, being able to distinguish them will make it much more convenient so that you don't have you do not have to open each astromon when creating a team. That's a really good idea. We will review how it can be how it can be implemented. Well, I'm I'm glad about that one, but that is such a low thing on the totem pole here, right? Uh, that, that is the slight, like one of the lowest problems I can see on the totem pole because chances are, okay, if you're like me and you've played the game long enough, and yes, you might have multiple of the same Astromon that you've summoned or you've built or whatever, you've already come up with a way to figure that out. For example, I have two Water Victorias. I have one that's set up with SP Siphon Gems. And I have one that is just straight up set up with uh, Valor gems. How I can tell the difference between the two? One is big Victoria, one is small Victoria. Problem solved. I know which one is which, right? But I'm not going to shoot down this idea. Knowing what Astromon is there and having that feature is fine, right? I get that, right? Look at Pokemon. Pokemon gives you symbols to assign to them so that you kind of know hey when i click on this this is my stars and you can tell yourself at that point like all my stars are 
whatever, right? These guys have the right natures and EVs or I and IVs and all that kind of jazz, right? For Pokemon. I get that. There is that customization here, but does it need it for Monster Super League? I, I don't know. Like I said, this is a question that's like really low on my totem pole as far as stuff that I want answered uh, for Monster Super League, right? But here was actually a good one. Uh, please make it possible uh, to use all the remaining festival event currency. Um, and their answer was, we will review implements from various perspectives, such as automatically converting remaining festival event currency into gold or energy at the end of the event, or adding the number of quantity of items that can be exchanged for masters to use it more efficiently. And I will say the latter of the two there is what I want, okay? And I have to speak from my perspective. However, I understand, you know, new players' perspectives here as well. So don't discount what I'm about to say on this, okay? I could give a shit less about gold. I could give a shit less about energy. I have enough gold to turn into energy. Because the, at the end of the day, I can go... F you can literally play this game infinitely with the gold and the energy loop that's in the game. You can. You really can. And so having more gold when I have millions of it, I don't care. Um, and I'm not even the highest on here. I realize a lot of people who newer players have come through my channel, have looked at my gold and went, oh my God, how do you have so much gold? And it's like, cause I've been playing for five years, right? But it's not, that's the problem is once you get to that point in this game, gold is mine is just not even a thought. So having my festival currency turn into gold for me as an end game player doesn't help here. Newer players, sure, them having it there is that. But let's be real, guys. We don't see these festival events run every single month, right? They only come out at certain times during the year. So at most, you're talking four times a year mainly. Five if we're lucky. So getting gold or energy, the energy is what I'd argue the most out of the two that was suggested there. But even that, I'm like, I still don't care because again, you can run this game infinitely. So having more energy, yay, you just delay the inevitable of me turning my astro gems into energy while I'm playing. Congratulations. Okay. So I'm not going to shoot down the energy, but I am going to shoot down the gold. I will definitely, I will, I would vote 100% on giving us more rewards. Give us some more, give us supreme light and dark eggs for crying out loud. Give us like really make those ridiculously high. Make those like 2000 to 3000 or whatever of our event festivals and give us one of those, right? I'd be down to get a, to get a five star light or dark Astromon every event. Again, this shit just only doesn't run every month. So I'm not being unreasonable in suggesting that. Give us a light or dark Astromon in a Supreme Egg or give us a golden egg with a five star Astromon, right? There's just, there's so much you could do in these events because again, they're so sparse. I don't care to get a, a three to five star egg anymore. And even for newer players, I don't, right? It's 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 one of those things where I just I don't it's no one cares. So, yeah, do I use my event stuff? Cool. But this is a really good question. I like this one, though, because, yeah, you if you're out there actually farming or if I'm out there trying to be number one on the leaderboard for whatever reason, you're going to get, excuse me, a crap ton of the event currency. And yeah, once it's over, it's like, well, I didn't use like 2000 of it. Oh, well. Yes, I think there needs to be something to better be a to be uh, more efficient on how we spend it. But please don't add stupid shit. <laughs> that's that's all I want. Don't add dumb things. Give us actual rewards, like good rewards, you know. And, and that's that's where I'm gonna leave that. But here here's what I was talking about before. Question: Can we please add fever mode to clan conflict as well? The development team will actively review the suggestion. It would be nice to be able to receive astromons and trinkets from temporary storage at once. The development team will actively review the suggestion. Please remove the limit on the number of additional recharges with astro gems when all normal astro chips are used. The development team will actively review the suggestion. Do you see what I mean about they went 75% of the way through here doing good and then they half-assed the last 25%? Like what? What kind of fucking answer is this? <laughs> this is this is an answer that you just don't care. 
if anyone who's into American football will remember the uh, Marshawn Lynch when he was uh, playing for the Seahawks years ago, it was just like when he was there, he's like, I'm just here not to get fined. And they ask him the next question. He's like, I'm just here not to get fined. Like he just didn't didn't want to be here. This is just them not caring to answer these questions. And to be honest, I don't play clan conflict, but it's PvP, so why doesn't fever mode work out in there? I don't know. Why so this I don't why not why not? That's all I have to say to that, right? It would be nice to receive Astrom on the trinkets. This is an easy code thing here. And then they're just like, Yeah, we'll think about it. It's just like, oh, okay. This should have already been in the game. That's another one of those. However, let me talk about this one. Because this one is uh, within my realm of what I do in the game, and I feel that I should impart this knowledge off to especially newer players on here. So, before before they added the Astro Chips for capture festivals, so you now have Astro Chips just to capture outside of festivals, and then you have the, the specific Astro Chips for capture festivals, right? Well, once upon a time... Uh, Uncle Leon here was uh, playing a game where you didn't have those chips. You had just the Astro chips, and you only had three chances to capture the Astromon for the Capture Festival. And then they decided, well, three isn't enough. Let's add this system that lets you spend 100, and then another 100, and then one last 100, so a total of 300 gems to give you three more chances to capture that Astromon. Okay, and that was the limit. And you have to think about this from a business standpoint. You use your gems, that's more inclined to make you go into the shop and buy it. There's a reason why this system exists, and that's exactly why it is in here. It's not for us, they don't care about us. This is literally to make you use your gems so that you would hopefully go buy some more, okay? And then they created the Capture Festival chips. Right? And now you have your Capture Festival chips, which you can get a crap ton of them, so you never have to really refill it. And even the $2.99 to refill them is not a bad price, if I'm being real with you guys. But let's, let's focus in here on the question, okay? And I'm going to tell you right now, do not spend any Astro Gems to, to capture any Astromon out in the field. Don't do it. Don't, please, God, no, just don't do it. It's not worth it, and here's why. I have played Monster Super League a long time. I have ran and captured hundreds of these Astromon that you have encountered that you're like, oh, I gotta have it now, but I, 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 I'm out of chips, right? Do I spend the 100 Astro Gems? No, because you will just see that Astromon again. I promise you, if you take any amount of going out and farming for Super Evolution materials seriously, you will see these Astromon so many times, it's disgusting. It's not worth spending the gems. So no, they're, they're the limit to the number of recharges on the Astro Gems doesn't even need to come into play. And the reason why I'd even bring up this question in the first place is I can promise you that the people who cheat at this game don't care about the limit because they just cheat because they have a 100% capture rate on and they get the Astromon and they move on because they're cheaters and that's what they do and unfortunately smart study just lets them get away with it so at the end of the day to you to everyone else out there who is like me who plays monster super league legitimately don't waste your gems and I promise you you will see that Astromon again you will and it's not worth the gems to to spend doing it and i will give an example this is a perfect example let's say you're on the pagos coast you're farming and an anubis comes up and you're like ah it's a legendary i gotta catch it right you throw three gem you throw uh, three astro chips at it and then you're like you're, you're put up to this dilemma you're like do i spend 100 gems to probably get it on the next hit so you spend the 100 gems, and you captured that Anubis. Well, that Anubis wasn't a, a variant. So you go back to your ship, and you go to your quest, and the quest says, here's 50 gems for capturing a legendary. And you're like, awesome. You still wasted 50 gems capturing that Astromon. And for what? A waste of 50 gems. If it, even if it was a variant, I'd still tell you, no, don't waste 100 gems. Yes, you'll wait. You, yes, you'll break even if you have to, if you get it once. But let's say you throw that, you you spend the 100 gems, you throw that fourth chip, and you still don't capture him. Well, guess what? 
you're gonna spend 200 you're gonna spend another hundred and then maybe another hundred just to get a hundred back you're then 200 gems in the hole do you know how many times you could have refilled your energy and kept going that's a lot that's, a, that's that's more than a lot that's at least two hours worth of running right there so you see my point here never waste your gems on the astro chip and so this question here is stupid I'm sorry. It's just flat out dumb and shouldn't have been asked. Period. End of story. Okay? So, regardless, there's the questions on these Q&As uh, that they, they sometimes do on here. And it is just, there was only two or three on here, right? Yeah. There's basically two of these that I I can get behind. And that is the Astro Guide here and the, 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 the festival here. Everything else is just who at why you know again the apex battles you guys know what the problem is with that however in the light of all of this i'm gonna give smart study questions that we all want to know answers to and unfortunately we know the answers to them and i have comically added uh well i have not get it let, let, let's 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 actually grab what we know the answer is Hold on, let's 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 grab the that because this is this is what they would probably tell me. But let's start let, let let's let's have a little fun here. Okay. Let's start let's start from the top. Why don't we get more variety from all the rebirth festivals? I think that's an, a reasonable question that they should have to answer. Why is it that we only have the same four stars in a rotation why do we have only the same five star in a rotation why can't there be more why can't there be other five star astromon i mean we're in a we're now six years into this game five years now that i've been playing it why why do we have the same rotation over and over for these astromon just why why so that that's that's my first question and here's how how we know they will answer it so let me just paste that in there uh, the development team will actively review this su suggestion cool that's awesome uh my next question is why doesn't the hero dungeon reset every year why do we have access to five star astromon that are hand picked by the way they are not they don't rotate out or change you get that one and it's done why doesn't that just reset every year? Why is that dead content? Why is it that if I spent the entire year getting uh, all the five stars, it's just there now? And I can and I and I can imagine that the people out there are some people out there that have done that and that they just it's done. The hero dungeon is done and they'll never have to go in there until they add a new five star. So why don't they just reset it every year? I don't think that's unreasonable, but we don't know the answer. The development team will actively review the suggestion. Cool. Okay, so I have another question. Why does the light and dark egg suck at giving you the Astromon you want? Well, we know the answer to that one. Hold on. They'll review that suggestion. But this one's more of a serious one, and we will let that one go. Uh, why doesn't the last egg in the Primo Festival just give us a light and dark for the last summon since I already spent 24,540 gems and should be rewarded for my time? I think that's not that reasonable. As much as the top, the one, the question before here was a joke, this one's not. If you are going to spend 24,540 gems to get you to the last egg in the Primo Festival, I should be, you should give me a light, it should just give me the light or dark Astromon at a 50% chance. I'm okay with that. I'm tired of not being rewarded when you spend that much gems, right? When you go and you spend that much. Because once again, to get this many gems, uh, if I did the math correctly, and I probably didn't, so let me let me let me do this on the fly for you guys. So let's see here. Again, let me get through the packages. Let me just go to currency. So we need twenty four thousand five hundred and forty divided by. That's a one-time bonus for the two times there, so I'm not even gonna... I don't wanna even see that. Yeah, so let's go 89, so 90 bucks, right? You get 2,400 gems. So we get that 20, uh, 
to to get 24,000 gems, you need to do you need to buy this package 10 times. So let's multiply that by 89.99. So for 900 for the low 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 price of $920, you too can get the lot to the last egg on those primo festivals and still probably not get a light or dark version of the astromon that you are looking for this is not unreasonable for me this should be what you should get a light and a dark at the end period end of story everything else on the primo festival can stay the same now there could be the argument again with how there are other five stars in there and i agree with the gripe that people have that the five, if you summon if you're doing the Primo Festival, you should only get the Primo Festival Astromon, and I agree with that 100%. Having any other five-star in that mix is dumb, and it does not need to, uh, to happen. But as we all know, here we go. There's their answer. But I have another question. I just thought, remembered it. Um, why haven't you removed all the Astromon that you can capture out on the world map from all the three to five star eggs i've said this a lot and i'm gonna say it even more here it is ridiculous that in these eggs you can you can get astromon that you can actively go out and capture right here right now I should not see a fire miho, a water miho, or a wood miho out of any of these damn eggs ever. End of story, period. And no one can sway me on that. The fact that I can go out and capture her on three different continents, mind you. You want to talk about variety? There's your variety. How about you change the Astromon that you can capture out there? Maybe leave Miho alone on the first continent and actually change on the second continent what, what Astromon we see in there. But literally, we need to have a change with all the Astromon that you can go out there and capture. And this goes for three stars, four stars. We can't capture any five stars, but maybe we can actually start doing that. There's an idea for you. Why can't we capture some five stars? Put some rare five stars out there. Hell, you already said that, well, at the end of 50, if you run 50 out of 50, there's a chance you might see a, 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 a rare Astromon. Bullshit. I've done 50 out of 50 a lot since that was implemented, and I haven't seen any new Astromon at all out there, period. It was, you lied to us. Let me put it that way to you. But hold on, I have the answer. They'll look at this. Well, that's, that's the answer they'll do for that one. But let's move on to the other one. Uh, why do the trinkets still suck? I think that's that's a reasonable one. Uh, they don't have an answer for this one, but yeah, I hate the trinkets in the game. Ultimate evolutions, uh, you know, are cool, but the trinkets still suck. All the trinkets suck in the game. All the trinkets don't give or do anything for our Astromon. They don't do anything. And they need to do more stuff for our Astromon. I could make an entire video that is just as long as what this rant is on this Q&A for this game to actually tell you why I hate trinkets in this game. The trinkets need to be changed. That's that's it. And like I said, I ain't gonna even humor that with the joke of how they would answer that because they probably wouldn't even answer that. Why do we still have an arena replay and still no ability to filter out? Oh, wait, we've already, they, they, can't, they answered that one. All right. And my actual serious last question is why do you still actively allow players to cheat in Monster Super League? And what kills me the most is people cheat in their fucking face and they still don't do anything about it. You can easily go into the Astro League and see what players are cheating with, with programs in the events that they run. And as someone who plays the capture festivals, I can clearly see when somebody is cheating and they still don't do anything about that. But this one, I'll humor them with their response that they will do. But 100%, there you go. You want to know legitimate questions? Albeit two of them are a little bit of a funny I put in here for the lulls. They're still serious. There's still some seriousness to these questions that come in here, right? And at the end of the day, I think these are better questions than the garbage that we just got over here. And I'm being uh, completely serious because none of the questions, in my opinion, that was put into here was actually asked by the community. None of them were on here. 
And again, they half-assed this last part with how they, they responded with this. So again, Smart Study, you have you have a game. We all like your game, but you're not answering or doing anything to, uh, you know, point out some of the stuff on here. And this isn't even, this is not an exhaust, this is not a, a determinant, you know, list here. This is not an exhaustive, you guys can add to this, right? Literally, I, I, I implore you to go on Facebook and actually paste, like, pu go put your questions in there. I'm half tempted to copy this and paste it into, in, into a, a response to this on Facebook. And just because, right? So at the end of the day, you guys need to make your voices heard uh, on there, right? These are legitimate questions. This should be the stuff they should be answering and not, uh, please, please. Uh, uh, why, why did the apex battles suck and why did you do that? And they give us uh, two, uh, well, not two, but a paragraph answer. Whereas they just, eh, we'll think about these other ones. Well, I have some better questions for you. I have a lot better questions for you. And I would like to know as someone who has played your game for five years, why does, why, why none of this make, why can't we change this stuff? And uh, trust me, everything that you see on my list for a question can be easily changed. Easily. It's the fact of whether or not they want to do it or not. So anyway, I'm out of here for this one. Uh, so I appreciate if you guys hung around with that. Again, I know I'm ranting. I know I'm going at it. But again, I care about this game. And at the end of the day, we're going to have to see how this year goes with, with the game being in Smart Studies' hands since, since last year. But, you know... At, I, I don't know. I, I just want them to answer actual questions and not just throw this thing at here. And it's like, we're being transparent. No, you're not answering anything that we care about. At least I, I believe the community should care about uh, in certain aspects. So anyway, I'm out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.